Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have done a video in this room. It's just been like super, super busy lately for me, but hopefully I can get back on track and, you know, start this routine over again of regularly uh, pumping out some videos. So today I have a perfume haul to share with you guys. I have a box here of a few perfumes. Uh, they are affordable fragrances and some of them are blind buys and um, as you can see I got a haircut from my last video you probably saw that if you are subbed to me um, so yeah this is what it looks like I think that Andrew did a pretty good job I'm happy with it uh, you're probably noticing that one side <laughs> is longer than the other see if I pull this down here and then this side you can see there's like a big difference <laughs> but and he's like you know what you can just like even that out and cut it off but I'm like I kind of like the way it looks it has like that uh, funky asymmetrical kind of thing going on and I don't mind it at all so let me know in the comments if you guys think I should cut that off and even it out or should I just leave it like that and um, you know I like the uh, imperfections in this haircut it's very raw I guess <laughs> So let's begin. Let's open this. I will be um, unboxing some stuff and then giving my first impressions and probably later I'll be doing some like full reviews on them. Let's uh... Actually, you know what? Let me just start off with this one here. This is the only thing that is, you know, I wouldn't call this a cheapie, but it's just a body and hand wash gel from Jo Malone. It's my first time ever having any bath products from Jo Malone. This is Blackberry and Bay, which I think is fantastic, you guys. Mm, it's it's fruity, it's fresh, it's green. Blackberry and Bay is just a fantastic, beautiful, easy to wear, signature scent kind of scent. And um, this is the body and hand wash gel. Hopefully I like this and also if I get through it, I can also refill it with uh, whatever I want. But yeah, I just wanted to give their bath products a try. And some people have actually said that Blackberry and Bay reminds them a lot of Rouge Trafalgar by Christian Dior. And yeah, I think, I think there is a similarity there for sure. For me, the Rouge Trafalgar is sweeter and it also is stronger. But I love both. I really do love both. And um, uh, yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Now let's, before opening this big box, I'll show you another thing that I picked up. This I actually picked up from my local chemist. This is a blind buy, Nina Ricci Rose Extase or Rose Extase. This is Eau de Toilette Sensuelle, 50 mils. I paid 25 euros for it. I know this this is kind of popular in Fragcom and I just thought, oh, you know what? I might as well just give it a try. I've been enjoying rose scents a lot lately and hopefully this is as good as people have uh, said in reviews. It says $25.99 here and then it says $25 here. But they did just charge me the $25. So let's give this one a try. While I do this, maybe you can let me know your scent of the day. I'd love to hear that. All right, so here's what the box looks like. Where I'm, where, where I'm living in the Netherlands, they did open the stores, but you have to make an appointment at least four hours in advance. So I guess you do that online or you can call. And then when you're in there, you can only be there for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, testing in stores is just not a thing that I'm even considering at the moment. Um, so now I have to do more blind buys and stuff like that. Well, I don't have to, but that's what's happening. <laughs> so here is what the bottle looks like. If I remember correctly, someone said this is a dupe of something and now I can't remember what it was. But we have this beautiful blush pink um, opaque bottle. It has a nice little gold trim around. 
Um, Eau de Toilette, Sensual. Now, let's give this a try. <laughs> First impressions. Hmm. Wow. Sweet rose. Wow, that's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm getting a sweet rose. Kind of um, sticky, like a sticky sweet kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of powder in here as well. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Rose, probably some fruits. I have no idea what the, the notes are in here, but I'm getting a very sweet, sticky rose. Probably some fruits or some candy-like kind of scent in here and a touch of powderiness. Yeah, pretty good. Obviously, I will be testing it to see how it is on my skin, but first sniff, very pretty, yeah. Pretty and I don't know, when would I wear this? Probably year-round. <laughs> we'll see how this goes, but that's Nina Ricci Rose Extase or Rose Extase. This is my first perfume that I've ever owned from Nina Ricci. So yeah, hopefully that smells just as nice on my skin. Now let's get into this box here. Okay. Now, we have a lot of packing peanuts in here. Let me just tip this over. Just bear with me for a sec. I'm gonna make a huge mess, probably. Or maybe I should just stick my hand in. Let's see. All right, so the first thing that I picked up is Manila Grace Eau Fresh Eau de Toilette Pour Femme. So this was like a super cheapy, I think it was like 12 euros or less, somewhere around there. Someone did recommend this to me in one of my other videos. I, I can't remember who it was or which video, but I actually have seen this on that discount website for a while and I looked at the notes and I remember them being like mango and there was like sorbet and some kind of fruity citrus kind of thing. And yeah, there weren't many reviews on this. Manila Grace Eau Fresh Eau de Toilette Parfum. But those notes really did like speak to me and I was really curious. This is a 50 milliliter bottle. And of course, um, yeah, it's blind buy and it was cheap. So I said, why not? Let's Let's give it a go. I think that this is an Italian house, if I remember correctly. I read that somewhere. But I'm hoping this is like a nice, fruity, tropical, creamy, gourmand scent. And uh, the bottle is super adorable. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Very like stylish art deco kind of thing. What do you guys think of that bottle? Nice or ugly? <laughs> All right, let's give this one a very first sniff. Oof, it's kind of hard to get off. Okay. Pretty heavy cap. That's quite surprising. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh. <laughs> This smells like super creamy coconutty. Oh my gosh, you know what it's reminding me of? I'm thinking of like a coconut gelato ice cream. That is like super creamy. It has the texture of like a creamy ice cream. Oh, sorry, let me show this. That is, that is gorgeous. <laughs> I can already say I like this more than the, the Nina Ricci. 
well, just based on this first sniff. So I'm getting creamy, tropical, coconut, delicious gelato ice cream on a hot summer day. That is gorgeous. I'm very <laughs> excited about this one. This is really, really nice. Oh my gosh. I love, I love it <laughs> so far. So that's Manila Grace. Eau Fresh Eau de Toilette Pour Femme. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried it and what you think of it. Oh my gosh, this is just, on the, on the test trip here, it's just delicious. A delicious, soft, gelato, creamy coconut. I don't know if coconut's in the notes, um, but I do get like also a fruitiness in here that is just making me crave gelato ice cream. All right. Let's stick my hand in here and pick something else. Okay, so now I have reviewed this one before and in that video I said it was like one of my most favorite discoveries of the year. And this is Trussardi Donna Eau de Toilette. This is also a very beautiful fragrance. I can link the review down there if you guys wanna see, uh, hear my thoughts on it. But this one really did blow me away. Very affordable. I have a 50 milliliter one here. I think it was under 25 euros. I can't remember exactly how much, but it's, it was a fantastic deal. I think that this house is very underrated. Or maybe it's more difficult to find in America. I'm not really sure. Um, but this one is a gorgeous jasmine green tea lotus scent. Okay. So here is what it looks like. It has like a textured, I don't know if you can see that. It's not really showing up, but it has like this textured feeling on the box. And the bottle oof, is also super pretty. There it is. Trussardi Donna Eau de Toilette. It has this beautiful ombre clear to white and some nice detail on the top here. Uh, last year, I, I blind bought the um, Trussardi Donna Pink Marina. That one I really love as well, but if I had to choose between the two, this would be my choice. So let me just get a sniff of this one. Yeah, this is just an absolutely gorgeous, light, fresh, floral scent. I get the jasmine tea in here for sure. Very noticeable and it is just, uh, it just smells a lot more expensive than it is, you guys. This is just such a beautiful scent. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> But I really do love it and ever since I tested it and I reviewed it last year I've been always thinking about getting a bottle and even though I don't really need more bottles in my life I knew that I had to have this one. So this is Trussardi, Donna, light, fresh, floral, fun, easy to wear, classy, elegant, um, long-lasting and just so refined and such a great like one of the best cheapies out there for sure, if you can find it. So that's Trussardi Donna Eau de Toilette. And I think I just have one more thing in here. I don't wanna make a mess with um, taking all these peanuts out, so I'll try to... Okay, I found it. This is not a perfume though. This is uh, a shower gel, another shower gel. This is Elizabeth Arden green tea energizing bath and shower gel and this is the 500 milliliter so yeah i just been really into um the shower gel hand gel thing and i'm into the tea scents 
and this is perfect for just a nice light tea uh, shower gel. <laughs> and yeah, this was like very affordable too. I think I paid like 11 euros for this and it will take me a, a long time to get through it. But yeah, I do really like what I have tried from the uh, Elizabeth Arden green tea series. I haven't tried a lot of them, but I just got the pear blossom, the green tea pear blossom. And I think that if I use this in the shower to wash and then spray the green tea pear blossom on top, that would be just like the perfect scent to wear for spring coming up soon. So yeah, that was my perfume haul slash shower gel bath what is it uh, body and hand wash gel haul if you guys have tried any of these fragrances please let me know what you think of them you can probably expect some reviews of these fragrances of course i have to test them out properly uh, well i do definitely want to get a, re a review out for this one but yeah i just I think it's also a very nice scent very very nice and i love when fragrances are inexpensive but they don't smell cheap <laughs> and yeah these ones especially this one was a huge huge surprise it is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to make it my scent of the day today wow it's just like literally gelato ice cream beautiful <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much for tuning in um uh, that's it for me for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.